Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here once again with Eclipse wandering around Lost River and this is a very surreal place. The longer we're here the more creepy it actually begins to become to be and not just because we have some elk to eat. The elk are actually a normal part of our life as a wolf but I think there's all sorts of different clues and just the names of different places that we might be able to to walk up to and check out. I keep feeling like if we just hold still long enough we might be able to read something that's on the paper that whizzes by but look at all these little abandoned houses. look at this house this is such a tiny house oh my gosh this is almost as big as like a little dog house my gosh but we still don't know why this town was abandoned and it kind of feels like walking around in a post-apocalyptic little world i mean look at the the ice cream truck over here totally abandoned proceed with caution ice cream all of the different little flavors do you guys have ice cream trucks in other countries? Because there's like ice cream trucks all over the place in some suburbs of America. I haven't seen one in a long time, but it's just, it's so surreal. I mean, there's a carnival, the abandoned carnival. What's this? Is this like a little game stand? What, is that like a, a little grabby toy? Oh, what's this? See, the slower we go and the more we look at Sloth Quest, how slow can you go? That's adorable. The more you look around, the more you might be surprised by what you could find, at least for us. For, the, for our Wolf Eclipse, he's probably a little bit bored of wandering around here or a little bit concerned. Lots of new smells. I'm not very familiar with having like these oil rig things set up just inside of the town, but they're here. There's actually some across the river, so we might pop over and visit those. There's some little, like little trailers here oh this one's open can i see inside of it it's completely empty so we have no idea what happened there's stew's dying stew's den the steakhouse a big giant billboard there there's parking so no idea what happened here oh is that the hunting is there a hunt is there is there are there elk are the elk nearby are we about to eat oh oh my gosh look at this what on earth Okay, so a female coyote was just here. She's trotting along over here. Hey, you! Hey, you! Are you going- Hey, that's our kill! That's our kill from earlier! So this is where we were earlier. Now, there's a whole bunch of toxic chemicals and things, and I kind of wonder if this truck could potentially be the reason the town was evacuated, because it's, like, got chemicals in it, and it's overturned. I feel like we're a detective wolf. A detective wolf running around trying to figure out what on earth happened here. Yeah, this was our kill from earlier. So apparently the coyotes are starting to move in on them. But it's just like wandering around trying to figure out what happened. Nagel, Market, Liqueur, and Deli. There's wines and liqueur down here too. And your guys' theories were pretty interesting. So some of you theorized maybe there was an earthquake. That would be a good theory. Is there anything we can read on this graffiti? Vampire. A bunch of squiggles, nothing I can read there, but some people theorized maybe there's an earthquake. Some people theorized, hmm, can't read that either, that maybe Yellowstone, the volcano, the super volcano had exploded. And I can tell you guys, see how clear the sky is? If the super volcano went up, there's a good chance if this is anywhere near Yellowstone, this community would have gone up too, like physically off the ground into smithereens. But when, when or if, I should say when, but don't worry about it. Don't panic because it looks like it's not going to happen for a while. Oh, there's the elk. If Yellowstone did go kablooey, the ground, the air, like the sky would be so covered in soot for so many centuries that, or at least I think it would be centuries, at least decades, that you wouldn't be able to see the sky like this and there wouldn't be plants like this. So something else must have happened here. Geo's geodes. So was this like a little geode shop? Because I love geodes. Oh my gosh, now it's raining. Oh, so creepy. So creepy. The abandoned school buses really get me too. There's a coffee time coffee store. I think we've looked at some of those. There's self-serve laundry. I couldn't really read the graffiti that was written inside the other spot too. There's the elk. Should we hunt an elk really quickly? Maybe we will. It is kind of interesting. There's the bull elk separated from his herd. It is kind of interesting to try hunting the elk in the city because there's so many more barriers. So let's see. That's a good cow elk right there. Ah, and she's running for it. All right. There's, see how she's going for the open area? If we could just track her. Oh, look at you go. Look at you go, you smart thing. But look, now she's stuck. She's stuck and we can possibly... This is the end for her. At least if I... What? Nope. See? 
so this is a much more dangerous area if you're a prey item. Oh, she's running down the canal. No way. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my gosh. Did we just jump off and she didn't? Where is she? Did she just sneakily, like... Did she just sneakily manage to toss us into the canal? Where did my cow elka go? Where's my food? I hear her yelling. Can I not jump up here? Is jumping something I can do? She just kicked us off. She just totally, like, kicked us off. Play about how... Let's see, pick up or drop pup, jump. Okay, I'm gonna try jumping. Can I, can I just jump up here? Nope. You cannot jump up that high. Oh my gosh. Well, who knows where she went, but what a clever elk. So I thought we were being clever, utilizing like the natural landscape to try to trap her. And no, sure enough, she actually kicked us into the canal. So that just goes to show me that I wasn't as good of a hunter in the city as I thought I would be. Oh man, all right, Eclipse. Clearly these steep slopes are not helping us whatsoever. So let's go ahead and we will wiggle our way out of here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, this place is so deep. How am I gonna get out? Am I going the wrong direction? I think I'm going the right direction to get out of here. And then we're gonna have to like work our way up into town somehow so that we can continue exploring. All right, here we go. My gosh. That was, that was so smart on her part, because then we can't even, like, get back to her. There's no way we would have been able to get back to her in order to be able to finish off the hunt. So, points to you, female cow elk. You definitely won there. Oh, don't tell me we have to go the other direction. Come on. Come on. Let's get, let's get a little bit of leverage here. Really? <laughs> really? All right, well, let's keep running. It has to level out somewhere, right? Phew, there we go. All right, let's head into town this way. Oh my gosh, so, whoa! That was a really smart cow elk, because she really, she got her goose there. Saved her own hide. All right, can I get up here, please? What? What? It's not gonna let me try to get into town that way? All right, looks like she really got us. So much for exploring town. How are we gonna get in there? We're like stuck on the bottom of the hilltop. Huh, huh. Okay, there's a bridge on the other side. So let's go ahead and run down this way. Maybe we'll be able to use the bridge instead. Man, power to the, the elk. She really got us good. <laughs> Set back our exploring quite a bit. There we go. This should do it. There we go. Now we're on the little path. Oh, is that a little, is that a bagel or something like that? Oh, that's so cool. So this must be the main road into the town. Much better to just try to take this than try to fight with trying to get in to, like, the mountains, because that wasn't working. So we have Meester's Mart over here. And then do we have any signs? There's Randy's Donuts. I hear a lot... Oh, there's some more signs. I hear a lot of the names are actually names of people who helped out with working on Wolf Quest. So that's a fun little Easter egg. Welcome to the Lost River. Ooh, so interesting. All right, Meester's Mart. There's the motel. Oh, that's so creepy. So vacancy at the motel, but we still don't know why. And it, like the sign says open, so is the electricity still running? Cause that's one of the little neon signs. Oh man, okay, so there's a little road over here. So I think the little oil rig things, yeah, there's the little oil rig things over here. So clearly the town was trying to do something. I just don't know what they were trying to do. So we're being a little detective. Are there any smells over here? Nope, but there's a little sign. All right, what's this? Oh, oh, what's this? BCE, remaking the world one molecule at a time. Oh my goodness, you guys, is this it? Is this what did it? Look, it's all closed off. It's all fenced off so you can't get in and like adventure in there. But is this what did it? Did they have some sort of meltdown? Did the town like invite in some sort of experimental science thing in order to try to make more revenue? And then it ended up blowing up in their faces. Can I like look in there? Let's see. Private property, no trespassing, no skating, bicycle riding, or vendors unless unless authorized. Violators will be prosecuted. Ooh, they were really specific about that. And look, there are the elk. There's those elk. Oh, I can't believe she managed to get us like that. That was that was a pretty smart elk. So I think this might be it. I think that this little science facility behind us may be the reason that there's no people around here. But whether or not that's like 
a good thing or a really spooky thing remains to be seen. Does that mean like something really nefarious happened? Let's see, Lyle, Edwin, Memorial Highway in downtown. Elvira, let's see. Looks like a Mexican food restaurant there. So downtown's over here. So there's a bunch of little buildings. There's pool hall, Joe's pool hall. Let's see, we've got a gift shop. We have, oh, is this really watch repair? Interesting, so a little watch repair. Um, there's the geode place. Oh, there's an arcade. Okay, so we were just over here and that's where we found Okoa's oh, candies. Oh, what are, what are these? Let's see, Frodo's forgotten treasures, books, art, and more. Elle's laughing market, organic meats and other eats. Z's rivets and bolts and other hardware. Is this is this what it feels like when like people get to find the stuff that they suggested for names in Zudasia? Because this is really cool. Just like seeing the little Easter eggs of like, wow, I bet uh, uh, Quivira was perhaps somebody who helped out with the production of Wolf Quest, and so now she has a little antique shop that we can explore. That is really neat. Koa's candies, record shop, uh, Ardrulis record shop. Sam Brew Hunting Supplies. Oh, it's a little pet shop. Nimara's Mingere. Oh my gosh. Wow, there's just all these little stores. There's the deli again. Bowling alley. I don't think we've been down here yet. So is that the bull elk? That is the bull elk. Look at you. I wonder if we could take you out. I doubt it. I'm not going to try. Look at the, the rack he's got. Oh my gosh. He would just like attack us. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? All right, what do we have here? Got a backup. Line up. I want to get a good look at this. The Lost River Gaze Gazetteer, or Gazette, I should say. Let's see. Evacuation. Mayor urges haste, calm. Who's to blame? Finger pointing begins. Wolf recovery program deemed a success. Okay, so this answers some questions. Free daily newspaper. So this is a newspaper that must have been produced in town. I don't know if they had to do like a hasty evacuation, how he had enough time to like write the newspaper, print it and put it in town. But I guess that's it. I guess what's flying past us are like evacuation orders. And there's even a cop car. This is kind of creepy seeing a cop car outside of what I assume is like city hall, just kind of abandoned over here. Oh my gosh, so I think something happened at that science facility and as a result this whole place was abandoned and kind of left to the wilds to reclaim. So like this must be town hall right here. What does the time say? Is the clock, the clock stopped at 3.01 or 3.02. Ooh, that's really, I wonder if that has any significance. 1939 is when the town hall was apparently built because it has a little a little note down there i love all the little details global warming the movie oh my goodness all right what else do we have over here please don't feed the bears okay wow there's so many little things to find space wolves the moon moon tree there's so many little Easter eggs to find. The Geyser Diaries, Secrets of Sloth Creek. Oh, that's so cool. So that was apparently, uh, that's apparently like the cinema right there where you'd go to see movies. So here's the kitchen shop. I think we looked at this place, the butcher shop. I think I saw a bookstore earlier. The Traveling Murphys in person. Huh, so I have no idea what that was. But I think I saw a bookstore earlier and the books actually said uh, book of the month. It was like book of the month, the world without us. And that was just really surreal. So I wonder what happened. I don't know. I don't know. We have some we have some good theories, at least, of what could have happened. So I think that, yeah, what we've discovered kind of one of the big culprits. It's that place across town, all of the chemicals. Everything that may have happened over there, maybe some sort of molecular research was going down. It went wrong, and this small town, small sleepy town, that took a gamble on trying to invest in that new new product and new research, they lost out. So, all right, I think we've discovered everything that there really is to see in the town, even though it's really cool because there's so many subtle little things that you kind of just stumble on, like this hole in the ground. Why? Who knows? I don't know why there's a hole in the ground. And there's like the strong man sort of carousel things here at the carnival but yeah who knows who knows what happened here as far as eclipse is concerned he is more concerned about finding do we still have yep that elk that he ate earlier the hunt that he had right outside of the carnival area 
So we'll go ahead and fill up and then I will meet you guys next time so that we can go and explore Grant's Glen because that is going to be the next area that we pop over to because I hear that there's some more mysterious notes waiting for us over here. So we'll go over to Grant's Glen, we'll maybe pop on top of the hilltop, we'll look around the bluffs and we'll just see what else there is to see before going back into Yellowstone and continuing on with the second litter that Eclipse and Twilight are going to be able to have. So if you guys want that to continue to be a daily thing please show your support let me know with likes and comments below and we will continue on or if you guys are okay with it just going to an occasional thing let me know because you are so excited about wolves and wolf's quest and i can't wait to continue exploring everything with you and i will see you guys next time Bye bye